middle this weekend with the mayors of Buffalo, Syracuse, and Rochester that was held by the Black Puerto Rican and Asian Caucus to talk about what it means to be a progressive mayor and what progressive mayors can bring to our cities and to really reinvigorating and creating an urban agenda in the state of New York and having partners like our Senator Neil Breslin and the, our Assemblywoman Pat Fahey. John McDonald was a mayor. He really understands our issues. And we, we need to recognize that we've got to look at the policies that are, are being uh, put in place in Washington, in our state. It all comes down to this. It comes down to a community. It comes down to a city that struggles with everything from clearing the snow off the streets to tragic shootings and violence that is unacceptable that's happening in our community to the issue that Dorsey has done a phenomenal job being out in front of about the tar sands oil and the different the Balkan oil that is coming through our community and impacting the neighborhoods that are least likely, least likely to be considered in the decisions that are made about our global energy policies. And she's giving them a voice. <laughs> that we face on a daily basis really require that effort of Washington, of New York State, and of local government in order to work together to put forward what we know works. Progressive policies work. A poverty agenda works. I mean, economic development will not happen if we do not address the issues that are facing the neighborhoods and our urban centers. We. We know what we need to do, but we need allies in order to help us to do that. And Sean Eldridge is a person who understands that. The first time that I met him, when we were talking about the issues that we're facing here in Albany and why he wants to run, you know, that's a great question to ask somebody. Why do you want to do this? And he wants to do this because he knows that he can make a difference and that he can lend a voice to those of us in the progressive community, to those of us throughout the state, in Washington and in Congress. Paul needs help. I you know, he is a voice. <laughs> Uh, in a place that doesn't have enough of those voices. And so Sean Eldridge is going to be that voice in the 19th Congressional District. We can help get him elected. And so without further ado, I yes. introduce Sean Eldridge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor, for that, that very kind introduction, and thank you, Congressman, for, for joining us tonight. You are very lucky to have a congressman like Congressman Tonko, and unfortunately, where I'm running, they're not as lucky, so uh, consider yourself <laughs> the RFK Dems and the SUNY, uh, SUNY Democrats for helping to organize this event and for, for inviting me to be here. Uh, New York 19 is a very large district. Unfortunately, most of you probably don't live in it, but hopefully some of you do. It includes all of the upper Hudson Valley, all of the Catskills, uh, 165 towns. It's a beautiful area. If you go to our website, you can see the full map. But I'm here to talk about our campaign because we're going to need your help. And some of you I've met before, but most of you I'm meeting for the very first time. So let me just tell you a little bit about who I am. Uh, why I'm running for Congress, and if you're interested, how you can help us. 